Tomorrow marks one year since the last Chevy Cruze rolled off the assembly line at GM Lordstown. Today, all eyes are on that facility again, but for a different reason. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti takes us inside the complex as we now look to the future. He has that story brand new at noon. Chelsea managers of the new Lordstown Motors Corporation took reporters and government leaders, as you can see behind me, on a tour of the old General Motors complex where they're hoping to eventually build all electric pickups. Executives say they're already in the process of testing equipment GM left behind after the last of the cruises were built here a year ago to see how well that works. Retooling of the plant should start early next month with new technology. Hiring of hourly workers who we're told should all be local for the most part could begin in July with up to 500 being employed here. Coming up tonight at 5 and 6 on First News, we'll show you more of today's tour and explain how Lordstown Motors employees will be utilizing this space. In Lordstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. Chelsea? All right, thanks, Jerry. Now, today's tour inside the new Lordstown Motors plant comes just one day shy of this somber day in the valley. General Motors' last cruise rolled off the assembly line in that same building. March 6, 2019, employees gathered, draped an American flag over the windshield, and gave each other hugs. It was the last of 16 million vehicles GM Lordstown made since it opened in 1966.